Hey there, I need to slip the footage in this clip because at the end of the cut, my actor's face moves into darkness. You can place your timeline cursor over the clip and hit the comma and full point keys to move forward or back frame by frame. And the M and forward slash keys will increment by 10 frames. Me, I've got other plans for the M and the forward slash. So I'm gonna map the custom slip functions onto the ANS keys. Here's how. So we're gonna go File, Settings, go to User, and go to Keyboard. I already have a custom one there, but you can dupe and rename a new keyboard if you don't have one. Double click to bring the keyboard up, and Control 3 to bring up the Command Palette. The slip functions are in the Trim Settings. Make sure you've selected the Button to Button option. So I'll just drag the Slip Left functionality onto the A, drag this onto the S, close the keyboard first. And you can see it's going in one direction with the A and in the other direction with the S. Now if I hold down ALT and then hit the keys, they'll jump in increments of 10 frames. If you don't want to use the keyboard, this is how to use the mouse to slip in Avid. For this to work, you will need to turn off the trim mode. And you'll need to reverse lasso to enter slide mode. So hold down the ALT key and click and drag from right to left and from bottom to top. And that brings us into the slide mode. So you can see I've got my key in and out points now, but also I've got these purple brackets here. And the icon or indicator for the tool has changed, and it's different from the normal yellow or red ones, and that's because I've switched off the trim mode. But this icon indicates that you're ready to slip now. Now this bit's important, it can get, you know, a little fiddly, but I'm gonna change the orientation of this indicator or icon so it's inside the clip, facing downstream, to the tail. And now I'm just going to click and drag. You can see it slips in the same way it would in Premiere or Final. So you're using your mouse. But the nice thing about Avid is it's actually showing you, you can see here these little grey brackets at either end of the clip that you're slipping. So you get a good idea of how much of the clip is left. If you don't click in the right place or with the correct orientation of the slide icon, it can be frustrating. Here, I just clicked outside my clip with the orientation facing upstream to the head. And you can see it's immediately gone into a rolling edit, which normally you would associate with the yellow trim mode. The easiest way to get out of this is to just click on the dark grey timeline bar. So I'll just reset that by reverse lassoing again. Since we're here and we are in slide mode, you'll see that if I double click on the A side purple indicator, they'll move just one pixel outside the clip itself, which indicates it's ready to slide. And so now if I move this tool so it faces upstream to the head and click and drag, I'll actually start sliding. So the clip moves on top of my existing clips without damaging any of them. 